Hi guys, so before we can build this 3D pyramid, we actually need to draw a graph um, to help us find the plotting points to use in OpenGL. Uh, so you can use any points that you want or you can just follow along with my points. So to create a 3D pyramid, we need to actually make a triangle. So the first triangle I'm going to make will be the front facing triangle of the pyramid. Um, as you can see, I'm going with um, a negative 0 0.5 as my first point. Um, so it's negative 0 0.5 to the negative side of the x-axis and a negative 0 0.5 uh, to the bottom of the y-axis. And then I'm going to move it forward. Um, so that's why I did negative 0 0.5. I'm moving it forward. Um, that point. So I will do the exact same thing for the second side, um, second point, as you can see, and so on. So for the top point, which will be the point that all the triangles will touch, this point will stay the same. Um, it will not move forward or back, it'll just stay in one position. So we're going to actually just plot it as 0.0. .0 um, as our um, plotting point. So this is the front of the um, pyramid. Now we want to make the back. Uh, the back of the pyramid is pretty much the same exact plotting points except for the last z-axis. Um, we want to bring that back or whatever way that you want to go, bring it forward. Uh, we want to do that. So the last point will be different. Um, this time around because uh, we're moving it in a different position. And as you can see here, that same top most point is exactly the same. So now I'm just actually going to draw out what a 3D pyramid looks like so I can kind of get an idea of what plotting points that I need to do. Um, you can do this with pretty much any shape that you're trying to accomplish. I think drawing it out will help you figure out the plotting points um, that you'll need uh, to create it in OpenGL. So as you can see here, I'm trying to just draw out what I think a 3D pyramid looks like. It's not the best picture, but it'll do. Um, but as you can see, we already did um, the front and back. And now what we're going to do is the side because um, we need to actually get the other point to actually make it 3D. It would just have an empty space in between. So... As you can see here, the points are exactly the same once again, except for that last Z axis. That area is where we're changing it. So it's still negative 0 0.5, uh, it's still a negative uh, 0 0.5 to on the X, I mean the X and Y axis. So we're still saying the same, but we're just changing that last coordinate. Um, so for one, we're going to set that at a, um, we're going to set that uh, at a different coordinate. Then we will with the front uh, dot as well, as you can see. So we're setting it back. So I put it at 0 0.5 and then to set it forward, I will do, I will write the same exact thing and just make it negative. 0.5 and this will go on for each and every side of this pyramid um, until it's completely all the points are completely done we're actually repeating um, the sections over and over again um, there is a way to, that you don't have to do that as well I can actually do that in another video but for this video's sake we're going to just do all the points
So as you can see here, um, we have triangles on each side, but on the bottom of this pyramid, there's actually two triangles because it shapes into a um, square. So we actually need to get two triangles here. So we actually need to plot the points for each and every one. As you can see, I'm just going to color in each section that we need to uh, basically get um, plotting points for. Um, so as you can see, we have front, back, side, side, and two on the bottom area. Um, so that will be all the um, triangles we actually need. So if we count it, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is the front facing one, six triangles. Okay. We have six triangles we need to draw. And if for each triangle, there's three plotting points for each one of those triangles. So to make a triangle, there's three points. Okay. So if you times six times three, that gives us 18. So that means there needs to be 18 vertices for us to create this 3D triangle. So that's another helpful tip as well. If you're unsure if you created enough sides, you can count and see if you created at least 18 vertices um, to create this 3D pyramid. So for this video, we're going to use Visual Studio 2019 um, to build our um, 3D pyramid. Um, I'll actually leave all the libraries that I'm using in this code in the description down below. Um, and if you want the source code to this, uh, please leave me a comment and I will definitely uh, put that out for you guys. Um, so... As you can see, there's a lot of plotting points on my um, in my code here. Um, I wouldn't worry about the last two um, columns because that has to deal with uh, two other topics. Um, the normals is basically lighting that I actually have in this code. And the last um, column it deals with texture. So I'm importing an image um, that I'm going to use uh, to make the pyramid look nice um so the three points we need to worry about here is uh the first column we lit all the plotting points that we just did in the previous steps you can see it right here it's all in here if you want to pause the video do that and you can um, actually copy that uh, uh code if you want to get the 3d pyramid here so what we're actually going to do now we're going to run the program and over view it and see if we have all the sides um, if you do see a pyramid and it missing some size that mean you're probably missing um, a triangle or you or you may be messed up on one of the plotting points so that's another indication that something's wrong in your code if one side of the uh, triangle looks a little different than the other all right so it's going to take a little minute um, all right, here we go. I actually added some camera controls in this, but this is our 3D pyramid. Look how cool it looks. I added texture. You don't have to do that, uh, but you can see all the points work. Um, it created the four-sided pyramid, uh, not including the bottom. Um, we have a front, back, and two sides. Um, I think it looks like a Egyptian pyramid in my opinion, but we got it. Hope you like this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And if you want me to try out something else, please comment that below as well.